Students, how are you? Well, um, this is to welcome you to our first English introductory class. I decided to make like a, a class zero in which I want to give you some important instructions to follow on in the class. Well, uh, first I'm going to introduce myself. Second, I am going to talk to you a little bit about the classroom language. Okay? Then about the class conditions, since about the use of the Schoology and also the use of the other platform, which is going to be Zoom for online conferences. Good, and finally, well, anyhow, like a, a review from personal information, which is our first topic. Eh, quizás ustedes se sientan un poco nerviosos porque es la primera clase. Vamos a ir despacio, vamos a mirar eh, los temas con cuidado y reconociendo que lo más importante por ahora es que mantengamos una muy fluida comunicación. Ok, a momentos voy a hablar en español, también en inglés, eh, pero la idea es que cada vez vamos dejando más el español para usar más el inglés en la clase. Ok, people, good. To start with... To introduce myself, you can ask me like, what is your name? My name is Jorge. Uh, how old are you? I am 43 years old. Pretty old, by the way. Where are you from? I am from Cali. Most of you are from Medellin. Good. I live in Laureles. I am a teacher. Well, this would be like my personal information. ¿Cómo preguntaría a cada uno para obtener estas respuestas? What's your name? How old are you? Where are you from? Where do you live? What is your occupation? Good. Okay. Let's continue. Other activities, very basic, if I ask you like, what do you like to do in your free time? Like, what are your hobbies? What are the things that you mostly like to do? For example, I like to listen to music. I like to read. I like to watch movies. I like to study, to take pictures, to teach. I like my job. Uh, I like to check my social networks, I like to walk my dogs, I like to read books about art. So, every time you need to talk about the things that you like to do, you can say I like to plus a verb and that's it. People, you are going to tell me, ay, como me voy a comunicar en clase. Si no puedo utilizar el español, ¿cómo voy a evitar la traducción? Muy bien. Va a ser muy importante que en nuestros encuentros, en nuestros encuentros sincrónicos que van a ser vía plataforma Zoom, eh, ustedes puedan comunicarse conmigo a través de esas preguntas. Number one. Teacher, how do you say in English, I don't know, whatever object you can see here, how do you say in English, papel? How do you say in English, mesa? How do you say in English, camera? Good. Uh, how do you spell, would be about the way you write a word. How do you spell table? It would be like T-A-B-L-E. Later, we are going to work more on that. Good. You can say, uh, teacher, how do you pronounce? Remember that the most important is not to have like a perfect pronunciation. You are in course one. So, uh, remember that it's also your right to say, I don't understand, no entiendo, or teacher, please repeat, okay? Good, people, I hope that you are taking notes on this, good. Well, methodology and class conditions, aquí hay muchas palabras nuevas, por eso me voy a ir despacio, y usando un poquito el español. There is going to be like four parts on every class. Part number one is going to be a setup, an introduction to the topic, like with an image, a game, a code, 
es una eh, presentación del tema. Good. Second, we are going to have an analysis to say why is this important to learn? Like a self-reflection and, uh, well, why is this important in everyday life? ¿Cómo puedo usar esto que estoy aprendiendo en mi vida diaria, en la comunicación? Good. We are going to, well, later you are going to have a task which is going to be your work. You are going to have a communicative task in which you produce. En que ustedes hacen una producción efectiva en términos de idioma. Good. And finally, the consciousness would be a reflection on your process, which is more like a, an evaluation in which you say, okay, si sí aprendí, no aprendí, y podemos tener unas actividades relacionadas con esa. Okay. How are we going to work our classes? Mostly on the Schoology. Schoology, bueno, algunos de ustedes para que la conozcan, algunos de ustedes no, es una plataforma en la cual pues va a ser... Eh, Van a estar todos los temas y los materiales which are going to be our classes space, okay? The idea is that our communications, well, maybe these first days, you can write me on the email, of course. Uh, but later, the idea is that you can write me via Schoology, que me manden los mensajes más por Schoology para que podamos tener una comunicación mucho más ordenada, ¿cierto? No, no llenar el email de una cantidad de cosas, sino que yo pueda... Reconocer que estudiantes de qué curso, etc. etc. Remember to ask questions. It's going to be like very important que me pregunten, que me manden un email, que si se encuentran perdidos, por favor se comuniquen conmigo para poderlos orientar. Ok, listo. Uh, well, soon as our space for online meetings, the first two classes will be asynchronous. Nuestras primeras dos clases no van a ser sincrónicas. Pero posteriormente sí nos vamos a seguir viendo en la plataforma Zoom. So, uh, what is going to happen? Ah, something that I forgot is that uh, allí se van a tomar asistencias. Ok, very important that you keep it in mind. The first two classes are synchronous, but the next two classes are going to be like normal, regular classes online. Good. Uh, people, uh, if you have any questions, please contact me. This is my email, okay? Uh, si tienen preguntas, por favor, contáctenme. Mm. Sé que estamos en un momento complejo, en un momento en que tenemos que aprender mucho de todas las herramientas de la tecnología para la educación. Uh, by tomorrow, very, very soon, I am going to send you more instructions about it. And well, this video is going to be in your emails, and at the same time, it's going to be in the school of you because it's going to be like our introduction video. Okay? Eh, espero verlos pronto, espero que se conecten, pero mucha comunicación y mucho compromiso. Okay? Talk to you later. Goodbye.